We often hear about After Effects in relation to compositing, which makes us wonder if that is what composition is all about and what it truly means. This is what our video is all about today. Well, let's jump right in. Let's go back to the basics for a quick moment. In order to make sure that we have all the base ground covered, let's see what is said about the word composition in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Composition is the act or process of composing, specifically arrangement into specific proportion or relation, and especially into artistic form. For example, the painting's unique composition. You can also think of a composition as the ingredients or components used to make a dish, for instance. Now that we have established the basic meaning of the word, let's explore the word in digital terms. A composition, in digital terms, is the stacking and arrangement of different digital elements such as images, text in different fonts, videos, audio, visual effects, etc. to make a movie scene, a commercial, a user interface design, or anything in between. So, the same meaning in the dictionary, actually, just using digital media. Composition in After Effects does not stray away much farther from these concepts we presented you here. It actually derives its meaning from them. If you understood the aforementioned terms, it should be easy to grasp what composition is all about in After Effects. Here is how Adobe defines the word in the context of After Effects. A composition is the framework for a movie. Each composition has its own timeline. A typical composition includes multiple layers that represent components such as video and audio footage items, animated text and vector graphics, still images and lights. You add a footage item to a composition by creating a layer for which the footage item is the source. You then arrange layers within a composition in space and time and composite using transparency features to determine which parts of underlying layers show through the layers stacked on on top of them. A composition in After Effects is similar to a movie clip in Flash Professional or a sequence in Premiere Pro. You render a composition to create the frames of a final output movie, which is encoded and exported to any number of formats. Simple projects may include only one composition. Complex projects may include hundreds of compositions to organize large amounts of footage or many effects. If you found this to be quite a difficult definition to understand, fear not, we're here to explain everything. Here's the easiest translation. What Adobe means by all that is that a composition is just like a theater play, where all the props are put together to make the scene look a certain way, like a forest or a bustling city. Our props here are the different layers, with different components, such as videos, graphic assets, and images, etc. You use those props and organize them in groups. These groups are the compositions, and you set them to appear in a certain space and time. In the case of After Effects, when you have a simple video to make, you might only need one composition that is home to many layers that host your digital media, like videos and images. If your project is a lot more complex, then it might have many compositions. Once you're done making a composition, you can export it in different formats. If you still find yourself confused about composition, it's basically stacking images, videos, vector graphics, and so on and so forth, and mashing them to make a video. For instance, you have a movie scene where a man is walking in the street, and you want to convey that the street he is walking in is a dangerous part of the city. Well, you stack videos of gangsters fighting and add audio that reflects that. You also add images and textures of graffiti and mold on the buildings to make them look old and dilapidated. All of these elements are put in layers and all of these layers are in one group. And that group is your composition. At the end of the day, understanding a composition in theory only can be a bit tricky, so we highly recommend you try to make one in After Effects to be able to fully understand the concept. As usual, we have reached the end of our video. We hope you learned something new today. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.